Good morning, folks. Today, we've got an end to the week without big earthquakes. Once again, it struck one of the alert zones. We've got some weather, interesting articles, and some app beta news at the end, but we're starting over at spaceweathernews.com and finding a very calm and quiet last day on our star, tiny coronal hole swinging past just south of the solar equator. Solar flaring has dropped back down as the sunspots have lost magnetic complexity, stability and decay dominate the leading groups, while the flare maker down south has spread its umbra and there isn't much interaction anymore. Solar wind in purple. That blip isn't going to be anything to worry about or even bat an eye, but it is what's keeping the KP off the floor as it has nicely cut down the cosmic energy cardiac health alert we were in yesterday afternoon. So folks, this was our earthquake alert map yesterday. The lone segment of the Americas on alert had shifted north from being squarely on Chile the day before. Now it is up through Peru where a magnitude 6.3 struck very shallow, but luckily caused very little damage. Six-day drought of six-pointers ends as the red circle used by the USGS for the epicenter actually bleeds over onto the red alert line posted a few hours earlier. For those who want to share how cool this earthquake prediction stuff is, but you don't like the music we used, or you don't feel like it can be shared with your professional colleagues, well, right next to that video, you can now find the suit and tie version. No music, full PowerPoint presentation with narration. We actually had another notable quake yesterday near the earth spot in the southwest Indian Ocean. We often see the ridge that goes up towards the Middle East get active as the southern storms ramp up for the year. Unfortunately, we've built up a lot of pressure this week, and a 6.3 will only release so much. The Blot Echo situation across the Pacific is strong. Can't believe it hasn't gone off yet, actually. But alas, here comes the next trigger, big southern coronal hole, and there are probably more earthquakes coming soon. Some of the top news today includes an excellent study of elements found in solar energetic particle bursts. A volley forward from Genesis mission more than a decade ago, discovering every known element within the streams of the solar wind. Up next, we're at ESA, doing their ESO impression actually, zooming in on an earth-facing helix of cosmic dust and material, bending around the cosmic jet coming from the central mass. Space vortices are awesome, but flooding is not. Vietnam with incredible rainfall this week, it has already turned deadly as many provinces are partly submerged underwater. Well, folks, about a thousand of you have the beta version of the Disaster Prediction app on your phone. Apart from some typos, we have Apple working very well and a few issues on Android. That's why we do beta testing, so we can get everything perfect before the full release. We'll be adding more information and features and doing the fixes this week. Of course, everything we do starts at suspiciousobservers.org, and we greatly appreciate your support. Right now, we've got your pressure and radar forecast across the globe, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.